You're gonna do the grilled chicken? Grilled chicken. I think I'm gonna do the crab. Definitely doing pork kibble, it's so good. And then I think we're gonna do like one of the big ones. Is it biscuits agua? Is it alcoholic or just a juice? A biscuits agua. Dan's taste test. So it is the next day. I was vlogging during dinner last night and my battery died but I figured the more I vlog the more I'm gonna do things like remember to charge my battery which is pretty crucial to the vlogging process really so that's what I'm gonna do. I can only hope to get better at this thing um, but yeah so didn't do much today and um, got a video up and just kind of potted and now I am about to work out and I mentioned in my favorites video that I was doing Tracy Anson and a few of you sorry I mentioned I was working out and then in the comment section I had a few people ask me I did say um, I was doing Tracy Anson um, I'm doing the method express which is the 10 minute segment one except I do all of them so I do the full hour and I've been doing that for a month and I really like it well no that's a lie I don't really like it but I like the results I've been getting from it which is kind of the same thing um I hate doing it, it's awful <laughs> but it's been making me feel good which and you know I am seeing improvements and all that kind of stuff but I was a bit worried that I was going to stagnate because I really haven't changed up what I've been doing at all so Dan has convinced me to give a new program a try which is Insanity which is a really famous one he's been doing it for about a month and he's seen really great results but he was also going from a slightly different fitness level than me um, it, like he's going from like up here and I'm going from like way down here um he was already you know he's already really fit he goes he's playing basketball right now he goes to the gym um I don't do those things so I am a bit scared I'm gonna try and do the first session now it's 42 minutes I might not survive if I don't then you probably won't see this vlog anyway um I shouldn't be scared because realistically I can stop whenever but um I'm so scared. So we'll see how it goes. So this is my little workout area. I just make sure that the floor is clear and I put my yoga mat down. This one's from Lou Lemon. And yeah, this is where I work out. I do have gym membership, but I don't go. Um, and I figure that if I come home really late, then it doesn't add extra travel time on. So I can always at least spare like 30 or 40 minutes. So this is what I've been doing. It's, you know, it's been okay. Like I've not my favorite part of the day but it is what it is uh, so yeah I am going to try this insanity business so wish me luck so I finished I think I survived I'm not 100% sure it's really really hard this is how cute I look post workout I get like that really red blotchiness it's really attractive oh my goodness I think I'm gonna go lie down about 12 hours now. So this is my morning routine. Every morning, whether it's a weekday or a weekend, I'll have half a glass of green juice. And I also try and finish the day with this as well because it's supposed to be really good for your digestive system. And then I'll have a load of water because I'm just the thirstiest person ever. I just got this in the mail and it has the cutest little postcard thing. You are your... I have no idea what that says, but it looks very nice. Um, how cute is that? I love that illustration. So cute. They are a pair of Chloe shoes. I hope they fix. I feel like I might have gone a size too big, but let's see. I'm going to need to put the camera down for this. Uh, are the uh, Chloe Lauren heels, the scalloped ones. How cute are those? I've wanted some mid heel ones. I do have some velvet pumps, which are a bit higher, which I love, um, but they're just a bit too high to be walking around London in. So I thought those are perfect with the block heel as well. These aren't velvet, these are suede. Um, but I'll get my suede protectors out. I think they're so cute, love. So a package arrived from Louis Via Roma, another one, and it contains lots and lots of wedding shoes or potential wedding shoes, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna unbox it and see if we can find the ones. Basically, I was only gonna buy one pair, but then I kept seeing others and I, I didn't know 
what size or what colour and size and what heel height, which was really important. So I um, I bought them all basically. And I also got a dress which is on sale, which I thought was pretty. So one, two, three, four, five pairs. Four are Manolo Blanc, one is Sarah Jessica Parker. The first one. I wanted a pair of these shoes for so long. I could never justify it because they're so expensive. But I figured for the wedding. Oh my goodness. Are they pretty? These have pearls. I love pearls. I thought that these maybe would be too big though because Manolo bag in the past for me has run a bit, um, a little bit big. Oh, these might be okay. Oh, a little bit big. What do you think? Oh, I love these. Quite high though. These are probably higher than I was going to go. These are so pretty. Oh, these were like proper wedding ones. I thought, oh my goodness. Dust bags. Cool. So these are 37 and a half. These are probably a bit more, um, a bit more practical but I wasn't sure about slingbacks so I feel like slingbacks aren't always the most comfy. I feel like this shoe is maybe a bit old-fashioned though. What do you think? But then I suppose I do like the idea of having um like a peep toe. Okay. Oh actually I quite like this. Oh they're pretty. What do you think? Yeah. They're actually quite comfortable as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Okay, those are actually really nice. And the heel height, I feel it, is manageable as well. Okay, those are serious contenders. We need to move the camera so it's closer. Okay, so I got these kind of dusky blue ones in the thinking that these were the actual size I needed um, and that maybe this could be my something blue. But I don't know if it has to be a particular shade of blue or if just like dusky blue counts regardless. And these are I think the, not the highest heel they do, but almost below that. Oh, these are nice. What do you think? Do you like? Do you think maybe too high? Mm. You don't like them? Mm. Okay, that's a big no for my mum. Really, I think these are lovely. You could wear these again as well. I like them all. <laughs> I'll just keep them all. Sell a bag, keep all the shoes. Actually, I feel like the colour isn't too bad, but that's because I guess I'm, go I'm wearing black, whereas if you wear them with white, I think, maybe. And these are the Sarah Jessica Parker ones. These are nice. Mm. Bit tight, but I feel like you've stretched those out. They're very, very pointy. Mm. Do you think maybe too pointy? Because I don't want it to show outside the dress. All right, you guys, so these are the shoe options. Let me know your thoughts, which one you think. I think it's probably between, if I can find these in the small size, and maybe if they even do them in the small heel height, I think those are a real contender. Otherwise, I think it's looking like the um, slingbacks, which I feel like there, they look a little bit old fashioned, but I quite like them on the foot, but let me know your thoughts. So we're just about to head out now. There are a couple of things that I want to pick up and we're going on holiday on Wednesday, so we have to get a few things sorted. But I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Excuse the mess, I haven't tidied up the shoes yet, but I'm gonna do that as soon as I get back. Just ripped jeans, black velvet pumps, striped top, jacket thingy with my Fendi peekaboo.
biscuit, one thing for Zara, and you can't really see it, but it's a big bag. Oh dear, always happens. So windy, oh my goodness. But I think we're gonna go grab lunch now. I think we're gonna go to Shake Shack. I was notified that it was now open here in Canary Wharf, so we're gonna go have lunch. All right, Shake Shack is happening. 